Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kishore Ralapati. Uh, today we will discuss about uh, fistula. Uh, I am a consultant colorectal surgeon working at Apollo Hospitals at the Jubilee Hills branch. Uh, what is a fistula? Fistula is basically a connection wherein there is an opening into the anal canal or into the rectum which communicates to the opening in the buttock. So an internal opening where the pus goes in and an external opening in the buttock where the pus comes out is called a fistula tract and the tract or the pathway that joins these two openings is called the fistula tract. So as long as the internal opening remains as an internal opening, the fistula will continue to be there. So the only way to be able to treat a fistula is by, be, by going through a surgical procedure wherein we one way or the other tackle the internal opening by closing it and then the external opening and the rest of the tract will go on to heal by themselves spontaneously. So for a surgical treatment of fistula, there are multiple treatment modalities that are available. So before we go in for actual surgery planning, initially what we do is try and identify if the fistula tract is a simple fistula tract or a complicated fistula tract. What differentiates a simple fistula tract to a complicated fistula tract is if the sphincter muscle, the muscle that we use to control the passage of stool or gas is involved in the process of fistula tract, that is when the fistula becomes a complicated fistula. So the multiple te techniques that are available to treat the fistulas are dependent on the amount of muscle that is involved and predominantly the kind of tract the fistula is going through. So based on this, we pick up the appropriate type of surgical procedure and then go on to cure it. Most surgical surgeries for fistula are curative and their success rates range anywhere from 75 to 95%. Uh, the most common myth uh, that we have is that the fistula surgery is something that would cause incontinence to most patients but with the modern techniques and technology that's available, incontinence has almost become less than 1-2% to 2 uh, incidence after a properly done fistula surgery. So, most important thing in, in fistula surgery is to make sure that the internal opening, which is the origin for the infection, is clearly identified and uh, an MRI scan is appropriately done to identify the fistula tract and then an appropriate treatment protocol is chalked out so that the sphincter is not damaged and the fistula is taken care of. Thank you for listening.